And welcome back, this is Brother Scuba with another episode of Let's Play the Seventh Saga. We are here on the map, in the northwest corner of the map. It's a very interesting map. Uh, there's Necro, and we are going to go pretty much the only way we can to go, which is south. And we are here outside the town of Valenka. Not Valencia, but Valenka. And I do know there are a couple enemies here that I do want to show to you guys. Holy crap. That looks scary. Uh, we already fought one of these, if you guys remember. Uh, but it was a different color. And of course, as every good RPG player knows, a new color means a new power-up. So we're going for the attack and... Oh, that did nothing. Let's go ahead and drop the star rune. Once again, runes are becoming the most often used things in battle. More than the attack, more than defend, runes. It gets rather annoying, rather monotonous after a while, I must admit. But it is how the game is designed. And down goes... Doom. So, so Doom lost. What could defeat Doom? Yeah. A new fight. Let's see if it is a new enemy. There is one in particular I wanted to show off to you guys. That is definitely what we just fought. So I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, that uh, Doom does give up. And let me just check the map here. It does give up a a jewel. Ten dollars to anybody that can guess what kind of jewel the Doom gives up. Oh, if you guessed Opal, you are right, as always. How many of you got ten bucks? Alright, another battle. I am actually going the right way, and it's another one. Good lord. Alright, and as a result of that battle, Valsu does reach level 30. I'm going to restart and cutting these out, because they're just throwing Doom after Doom after Doom at me. And these mountains do not like me. Because they are being tricky. Tr 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 tricky. Okay, I cannot remember if I've shown you guys these enemies before. I do think I have, but there are definitely three of them. Not the Sky Rune, Moon Rune on Necro. That is pretty much my basic strategy going into every fight now. And he goes for the vacuum, which pierces my eardrums. And that guy goes for another magic attack. Neither one of them hit, so uh, you go ahead and defend, attack that guy who didn't attack yet, and down he goes. You go ahead and defend. Uh, you attack this guy. Oh, don't miss. You suck, Necro. Go for him again. Thank you. Eh, I can't go for him again. Attack. Alright. Black Knights. I... I I want to say that I showed that to you guys, but I, I'm never sure anymore. I, once again, I've, me I've mentioned it before, but I have to cut a lot of footage out. Plus, I do record this late at night, so it is pretty hard for me to remember exactly what happened a couple weeks ago. Because I don't, rec I haven't recorded this all in one go like a lot of other Let's Players do. I do try to keep it relatively small batches of what I do record in... Wait, there, there's, there's two places here. And here is definitely the enemy I wanted to show you. This is a sword. And it drops swords. But the particular sword I am looking for is called a sword. It's pretty much immune to everything. So no matter what you do, it only takes out one. No matter what you do to it, it only does one damage. So. I do want to uh, use the star rune on both of us because it does quite a large attack here. Let's go to Valsu, the star rune, Valsu. So pretty much it's going to take seven turns for me to take this thing out, if I remember right. And hopefully that thing never lands. Looks like it's going to be more than seven. I don't know, I've lost track, but it seems like it's more than that. I remember the number being seven. Oh, look! It's a magical floating sword. Okay, so yes, it's a, 
a, a sword and it dropped nothing oh you suck okay that is definitely not the town that I wanted to go to is it Th that, so that that sounds like battle music so I want to not go to that let's try to go to the to what's over to the right can I do that I think that's gonna be a passage that I have to go into all right so it looks like I don't have a choice I'm gonna be going into this little cave thingy here against my better wishes ooh treasure I, I do like treasure look what I found in here this is not going to be fun. Ah, <sighs> Spidex. Improved Spidex. Did you really have to throw that at me, game? This is just a slap in the face. After what you did to me with the last Spidex. Oh, and they're bulky. Eh, take it all as MP. I don't care. Um, Star and... Oh, this is not going to be fun. Yeah, don't take his. Yeah, you can't take his because you suck. Uh, defend, defend. Yeah, they don't do that much damage. They're just bulky in terms of defense, I guess. Defend, defend. Attack! Oh, so close. 34 damage to Necro. That, that's not nothing, though. They're... they're P-moons. Whatever. Spidex! If I remember right, Spidex are the only thing that come into this dungeon at all, so... It is not gonna be fun, except... Um... m -seed. I've already forgotten, it's been so long since I played this game. Whether or not that is a magic seed or an MP seed. Alright, those P-Moons aren't as annoying as Spidex were when I first encountered them. And I got a heart. But, the P-Moons do come in groups of three, which is never fun. I assume one of these is going to be a trick once in a while. But none of them are, and it's working out pretty nicely. That's it, run away, spiders. Love that. Alright, let's get that last piece of treasure over here on the right. Magic water. Nice. Alright, so let's go to the left because I saw some treasure over there. Even though this might be the dead end. And I'm starting to run out of antidotes because of all these spiders. And it does look like I went for the dead end here. Because I'm not sure if there is anything over here past the treasure. Hopefully this is something good. Potion 3, that will do. And this way up here, this is, is this the way I came in? Only one way to find out. Let's go up. Alright, hopefully I can make it out without incident this time. And yes, it is the way I came in. Awesome. So once again, I get lost in a dungeon. You'll probably get used to that from me. But, so I should know that it is on the right side where the exit is. And I'm doing a pretty good job of avoiding battles without really trying now. There we go. Alright, let's go up north and... What the hell is that supposed to mean? Okay. Apparently, the pain is unbearable. So here we are on the other side of these mountains here. Interesting. I feel like I've missed a town. So, you know what? I'm going to end the video here, find out if I did in fact miss a town. Uh, if not, I'm going to find out what the pain being unbearable actually means. And I will get back to you guys next time on Let's Play the Seventh Saga. This has been Baller Scuba, and I hope you enjoyed this part. Hope you've laughed, hope you've learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.